Well, caregivers are so important to family and friends, and November is National Family Caregivers Month. And joining us today from the Area Agency on Aging 3, the Population Health Director, Dre White, to talk about caregivers and the tools that you have. So thanks for joining us. Oh, thanks for having us again. Okay, so in your agency, you realize how much caregivers and those who help are so important. So what kind of tools are out there for people to get a little bit of help? Because it can be a stressful job. Sure. So, yeah. So like you said, November is actually National Family Caregiver Month. Um, and we celebrate this as the agency um, as a time to recognize and, and honor family caregivers. Um, just in Ohio alone, there's nearly 1.4 million caregivers. So there's such a big need to raise awareness of caregiving issues, to educate communities, um, and increase support for caregivers. Um, that need for care workers to help our aging population age in place and in their home where they want to be uh, continues to grow. Um, so it's important to educate about supports available in the community. Um, and we at the agency, we are really excited that we have recently brought um, to our region um, a platform called Trualta. Um, Trualta is free. It is online. It's caregiver driven. It's really just a resource tailored to caregivers. Um, you know, a lot of times we hear from our caregivers, you know, so many questions um, and stresses that they're trying to balance. They're not quite sure where to go for help or where to go for answers. Um, and Trolta does just that as again, it's tailored to the caregiver. Um, there's education on dementia, brain health, mental health, fall prevention, and care task, um, and self-care as well and burnout, which is, I, I think is a huge one. Um, you know, for our caregivers, we, I think it's you know, very important that you got to take care of yourself as a caregiver before you can provide quality care to anyone else. So um, we're really excited about that. Uh, we're excited to celebrate uh, the month for the caregivers and also um, share some of the supports and resources that we have as well. Yeah, so that, that new uh, website, I, I assume one of the good things about that is whenever you have the time, you can go to it. And is it free? Absolutely. It is completely free. And you're exactly right. You know, a lot of times those questions are coming up, you know, maybe late at night, maybe when um, a care worker is not available or a care manager is not, av uh, not available. So where do you go for those answers? Um, and that's the great thing about Trualta. Um, you can sign in at any point. Like I said, it's caregiver driven. Um, and those answers are really at your fingertips. Um, you know, a lot of our caregivers are going online to find those answers, which um, is great. There's a lot of great information out there, but this resource is tailored just to those caregivers and a lot of those, those specific answers that they're in need of. Um, so yes, anyone can sign up. It is absolutely free. Um, anyone that's interested in registering or knows of anyone that can benefit um, can check out our website. Uh, the link to register is on our website or give us a call and we'd be happy to get you connected as well. Well, and as you mentioned, there's so much online and sometimes you're wondering which ones to trust too. How do you know sure. that that was good advice? And so if you have this website that you know you, you trust, then it makes you feel better too. Sure. And like you said, there, there's so much out there and you know, um, at this day and age, everything is online. You're not quite sure, um, you know, where to go, what to believe. Uh, so this is, you know, all evidence-based and great information for our caregivers um, that they can trust and feel confident in when they're seeking those, those, those answers that they need. Yeah. What, what is the most common questions you think caregivers have if they call up, you know, Area Agency on Aging 3, you know, what, what, what's the common stuff that they struggle with? I think a big struggle, um, again, is that self-care, that burnout, um, you know, managing you know, their life. And again, with all of the responsibilities of, of caring someone as well, um, you know, some of our caregivers, you know, maybe handling a lot of that responsibility themselves, maybe family, um, you know, is out of state or not available. Um, so a lot of this is, you know, they're, they're, it's new um, to them. Um, you know, again, with dementia and Alzheimer's, another big thing that we hear is, you know, the changes in behavior. Um, so that loved one is, you know, there, there's changes in behavior that they're not accustomed to. So how to manage that can be very overwhelming, along with all the other responsibilities. Um, and again, the, the great thing about Truwalta, uh, there is... There's articles, there's videos, uh, there's different engagement pieces as well. Uh, so there's there's also social components to it where you can reach out to caregivers from um, across the state, across the country that are also going through maybe very similar things. Uh, so sometimes, you know, reaching out to those individuals that are also going through very similar things um, and seeking that guidance and being assured um, that what you're doing um, is the right thing um, can be very rewarding, I think, for our caregivers. Yeah, wow, a really good resource and tool. Thank you very much for sharing with us today. 
Thanks so much, Holly. All right, don't go away. New Edition continues in a moment.